after sitting out the uh, weekend and Thursday's duel against Eastern Michigan. Picked up uh, something on the mats at uh, Eastern Michigan Open. Kind of worked its way around the room. Mancini is uh, Twinsburg Tiger, I want to say there. Uh, Zoltan Mesco, the punter from Michigan, also from Twinsburg. His opponent is our 33-pounder, Zach Martin. Is that who you got, Kevin? Did you get Zach Martin too? Who is it? Oh, Greg Ryan, sorry. Greg Ryan, sophomore Greg Ryan from Warren. He went to Holland. So Ryan and Mincy. Ryan, the blue, or... No, Warren Holland. Ryan in on a deep, nice shot. That was a nice takedown. Mancini looking to come up right away. It's one, two, one. So Greg Ryan's a sophomore. I believe Mike Mancini would be a red shirt freshman. Nope, they got him as a sophomore. Yeah, they must have used him. Yeah, you lose practice in these guys if you go to enough open tournaments. You think you saw him and you didn't, or you, or you did and they were wearing a singlet and they brought him out of red shirt and you never know sometimes. So it's 2-1. In favor of Greg Ryan here, of John Carroll, the Warren Holland. I like the, you know, when I don't know their mascot, I just call them like a goats or something. I think they might be like the Holland Tigers or something, but yeah. Nice shot. Yeah. Ryan with another awesome shot, changes out to a double. He could be the head of claw. Wow, Greg Ryan, looking tough. 4-2 lead over Mike Mancini of Cleveland State. You know, some big news for Cleveland State this week. They uh, found out they're going to be hosting the U.S. Open the next two years here in Cleveland, Ohio. That's excellent. Takes a shot from space, Mancini does. No going. Ryan's able to defend. That's huge. Full after, steam. After holding the tournament in uh, Las Vegas the last few years, it's uh, pretty big to get that back up in Northeast, Northeast Ohio again, in the heart of uh, the wrestling belt, wrestling country. Greg Ryan dominating so far. Two really nice takedowns. Cini's down four two. He's also going to take down and start the second. Kevin Schlosser, you're all you're filled with, with excellent news. I knew that, but I didn't figure I would mention it. But hey, get it in there, man. We want people here. Come check Cleveland out. Hopefully the economy will get better. And the question is, is the Vikings or the Browns going to have more wins this year? The Vikings? Cleveland State. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cleveland. Oh, nice. Go behind. Nice exchange. No takedown yet. Oh, we're looking nice scramble here, people. Mancini can't return him. That's two now. That was a nice scramble. What do you think, Kevin? It's just a little bit of moxie. He's not uh, ready to quit yet. Yeah, I mean, Ryan took him down with two dominating take and, and I think Mancini benefits from having a guy like Jordan Keller in the room, one of his regular workout partners. They're always going at it and uh, you know he, Jordan might be one that's that's dominating again for five, ten minutes. And then nice five, matter five, five, ten minutes it might be Mancini. They go back and forth in the room.
Vikings could seal it up with a win. With only three wins, they could seal it up. Two wins. Oh, they got to get four at least. Yeah, and they're, uh, they're, they're really coming down to the strength of their lineup, you know, at, at 157. Cody, Corey Carlo, he's got uh, some definite talent and some potential there. Robbie Michaels, 165. Marcus Epner at 174. Nice mat return. So Carver, we call it a belly bump. Fifteen seconds left, and Sinning's up 5-4. Even though Ryan has dominated the action on the feet, and Sinning with the uh, takedown, and he's going to go up into a minute riding time. And we look, uh, tries to tilt him off the mat. Four seconds left. This would be a huge escape if Ryan could get it. Or John Carroll. And Sinning of Cleveland State's got to try and hold him down. I mean, it's big here. you got to close out the end of this period. You don't want to see something happen like that. Uh at heavyweight. I mean, obviously it worked out well for Cleveland State. But they could have gone, it's a nine point swing right there. It's a 12 point swing. Because it could have gone the other way, you know, the other guy. Um, could have well, seen the, the importance other of finishing out a period. Exactly. Closing that out. A little bit of controversy there on that call. When I was in Russia this summer, they called the scandal. Ooh. I'm red. Are you serious? We could see a uh, point here. If I could read his lips. Dan right? Ralph, I believe. Younger brother of Anthony. Notre Dame coach. St. Peter Chanel. Both guys, both channel guys, I like to say. 5-4, minute 4 ride time for Mencini. He's got the 5-4 lead. You know, if I'm Ryan, this is the right choice, but that was nice! Rick Flair woo on that one. Whoa. It was a, a shock by to a, like a foot block. That was, that was nice. You brought him back down quick and uh, you gotta kinda feel that. It takes you a minute to. Mancini turning up the heat, man. That minute escape at 7 5. He's got a minute 21 riding time locked up. Well, it's not locked up yet. At 21 seconds, it'll be last now. No, if he takes him down, he can take 21 seconds of ride time off. Oh yeah. When there's not enough time left to drain it below a minute is when it's locked up. Yes, this is my first time dealing with riding time. This isn't your first rodeo though, Kevin. I know you know a lot about wrestling. It's math is your problem, right? Oh, he's got a nice shot. Yes, I was. Oh, what is it? Look at that, that was great defense. Didn't spend a lot of time in the math department. Neither did I. It's worth my worst subject. Neither did I. Wow. Ryan had that. How did he not get that take down? No, that's one of those that uh, haunt you at night when you're on your bus ride home. Especially if it... Oh, but he gets oh. this one, it looks like. No! Mancini just head. keeps wrestling, man. Now, now, look, we're going to come to a situation with the ride time. Could be crucial. The ride time's locked up now, but we could see some back points here. Mancini's got himself in some danger, it looks like. 7-5. If I'm Mancini, I'm bellying out right now. If I'm Mancini, I'm bellying out. Wow. Off the mat, no score. Some beautiful scrambles here. This is great wrestling. Like the uh, second period, he's got five seconds to close this thing out. But he's got the right time point locked up. Apparently, Ryan wasn't interested in going after him. And there's your winner, Mike Mancini. It's 15 7 for the Vikings. Mancini.